Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Brigade. I am Brian Greer and on this show we do reviews, previews, playthroughs and have conversations about our favorite board games. So if you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and joining the Game Brigade community. Today we're going to be talking about Farts and Fairies. Now we are already done a playthrough for this game, so if you haven't seen the playthrough yet, you can check it out right there. I did a three player playthrough with Nick and Brandon. Thank you for helping me guys on the show. And uh, at the end of that video, we do a quick review for them. That was their first time playing the game, so you can get a first impressions take on their look at Farts and Fairies. This video specifically will be talking about how the game is played and then my final thoughts with farts and fairies so let's get to it so farts and fairies is a card game with take that mechanics um I am normally not a party game person, uh, which is funny because I've been getting a lot of party games lately uh, but I do enjoy the fun especially uh when everyone is enjoying their time and every time we have played farts and fairies while i think a lot of people are laughing at the toilet humor obviously um most people have enjoyed our play with it and you can see that i think in the playthrough we we are generally enjoying ourselves laughing and having a good time the game is played uh in about 20 minutes and basically the idea of it is players are going to be playing different types of cards we'll go through those in a bit and whoever has the most amount of points fart points in their fart bank at the end of the game is the loser so this game was going to be having one loser with multiple winners so basically you're trying to not have farts in your fart bank uh, farts have different types of points on them so for example this one here uh, the radioactive farticle is a four point fart uh, there are other types of cards though you have the green cards and these are protection spells generally you're going to be reversing the fart back to the player who gave it to you or diverting it to to any player and you can also divert it back to the player that uh, farted on you so you will be playing these cards to uh, protect yourself from farts you then have the occupied uh, or the occupied the blue cards the blue cards are action cards these are going to be cards that you can play to do different types of actions in the game so uh, for example you've got the occupied skip someone's turn uh, you've got draw two cards you've got uh, swap your hand with someone else uh, the, the atomic fart where you're going to be taking a card from your fart bank and giving it to someone else so they are powerful action spells uh, that you can produce and then you have the pink cards there are two types of pink cards you have fairy dust which is one of the most powerful cards in the game it uh, counts as a five point fart card as well as it can copy the text of any other card in the game. So if you want this to be uh, a reverse card or a, a fart card, uh, if you want to make it a fart card, you could. It's a fart card as it is. But literally, this can be any card you want. The Fairy Police is the other pink card. And the Fairy Police basically just stops uh, actions uh, producing. So... Um, I like to. I play a game called Magic the Gathering. It uses a thing called the stack, and I think that's a very easy way to uh, think of how the fart police works. If someone plays a fart card and people are playing reverses or inverses, and you don't have any more defense, but you have a fart police, you can play the fart police, and that just clears everything and sends it back to the discard pile. So those are the mechanics of the game. So let's talk about what I thought in my final thoughts. I've already said that I'm not a big. Um, party player person I feel like those games can run their course uh, but I did find that farts and fairies was an enjoyable game and we had a good time playing with it and I think in the right party settings with the right group of people uh, this could have a, a good leg of running especially for the cost of what you're looking at for this game um, the the there's a not safe for work content pack that I did not include in the playthrough because the it, it is inappropriate for YouTube and my friends thought those were some of the most hilarious cards you could you could imagine or see uh, and I think it's not for everyone but it can awfully uh, it can add more influence to your gameplay experience if that's something you're looking for it has more effects it has a different card type with different cards abilities uh, so I do think that that is interesting that they have ways to enhance the gameplay experience um, but the cards are vulgar they have uh, graphic photos so take note of that um, the 
overall experience, uh, the only criticism that I really faced when I was playing the game is it can swing pretty easily. If you want someone to lose, if there's a moment and you could watch the playthrough, you can tell when someone runs out of defense cards. Generally, it seems in every game that we've played, when someone tries to play a fart card on someone to stack them, they're going to try to defend themselves by playing a green card to affect, you know, send it to someone else, which then the person will probably send it back to them. And this will chain and you'll get maybe eight uh, green cards played on a turn uh, until someone runs out of defense cards because you only have eight cards in your hand. When you notice that the defenses are down on someone, it's very easy for you to stack multiple different farts on someone. And so they could obviously be at a point where uh, it might not be feasible for them to come out of it and to win. I do think there are strategies, and I think the play group, most of the time we felt that people were trying to keep things fair until we got to like closer to the end of the game, and then people tried to stack on a person and, and have them lose. Um, but I do think the way this game, with the take of that mechanics that are built into the system, uh, can be harder to navigate yourself out of it. Now, it's not like a game where if you lose, it's a, a huge deal. It's it's not really that big of a deal uh, because of the way of the light, uh, lighthearted nature of this game and the way the the game is you know kind of presenting itself. Uh, it's just all fun and funny games, anyways. And you're all laughing like, oh, how many farts did you get? So take that. I do think so. Gameplay wise, there are some issues that I have with the gameplay doesn't mean that the games are unplayable or unenjoyable. Um, but if you look at this at a deeper level, I think there are some issues that I have uh, overall. Now, there are ways to utilize the cards that are in the game to get a little higher depth of strategy. Um, but I don't know necessarily know if everyone's going to be playing at that level. Uh, for example, we were talking about how if you have extra fart cards in your hand at the end of the game, um, you could choose to use cards like this occupied to skip someone's turn for a round. So if you're coming to the end of the game and you know that they have to play those fart cards in their hand, if you, you suspect they might have some, you can play some occupied cards and skip them uh, so that they are not able to play their cards and maybe you can spike a win off of that. There are ways that you can use the strategies in this game to protect yourself from things like that. So I do think that's fairly interesting that the, there is a level of depth here, but it's, it's not, so deep. Don't look at this like I'm talking about how it's so deep. So that is Farts and Fairies in a nutshell. I do think this is a fun game. I would uh, love to play this again. My friends were talking about uh, when we go to the cabin or go camping, this will be one of the ones that we'd love to play uh, around the campfire and just kind of laugh. So that is uh, my overall take. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are looking at packing this on the Kickstarter, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys appreciate this review. I tried to be as honest and uh, upfront about my thoughts on the games. I think that uh, is valuable for you guys as you decide to use uh, back games and use you know choose to do what you want with your money so thank you for the support on the channel if you like this content please give me a like or a subscription they both really do help the channel otherwise check the description bar down below we have our patreon we have our discord anything helps otherwise thank you for watching the show talk to y'all soon